Hello, my name is Clone, and uh, welcome to my studio. Clone, thank you so much for having me. Uh, we're in Tel Aviv, Israel, and the first thing I noticed being here for the last couple of days is that street art does have its own presence here in Tel Aviv. Can you tell me a little bit about the scene here? Uh, I don't know, the scene is, uh, the, it's really young, but it kind of really developed over the past few years. Uh, I've, been, I've seen this uh, scene, grow, scene growing from kind of nothing over the past decade, but uh, past year it had much more attention. Israel is of course, like, like with every kind of trend, it's always late, so it's like, now the street art is hot, so everybody is. Ooh, street art. So. so, so with street art being a global phenomenon, and also street art making that leap into contemporary art, where do you think street art from Israel is headed? Do you think it, it's also headed in the same trajectory because of the the galleries are now interested in street artists, and that it will actually make that leap? Uh, I don't know. I think uh, looking. To like on different scenes around the world, like uh, I can see that Israel is quite different because it developed much faster, and uh, uh, I know it's everyone is to itself. But like uh, there is connection to galleries, and there is a, it might develop into some. I don't, I, I don't actually know how to answer this question. You know? Well, then let's talk a little bit about your art and about your iconography. Your pieces, uh, your pieces are very identifiable. Where, where does your inspiration come from? Personally, to me, they look a little bit like fairy tales that have gone amok. But, 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 but where do you find the inspiration for these images? Uh, I don't know. Basically, I, it's kind of funny, but like in, uh, I know. I would say in everything, so just, I don't know, I'm a bit too curious about things. I'm one of those people that will go on the street and see an abandoned building with a hole in the wall, so I'll go in because it's, I want to see what's inside. So like, I'm uh, like this about everything. I want to explore uh, mediums and like, uh, I don't know, illustrate different stories that I have in my head and uh, just every time get into something new and uh, I don't know, just expand. Like I don't want to to feel that I'm at peak of something because there's so much more to be done and to explore. So it's, I don't know, from just everything that's surrounding me. And my friends and other artists and news and, uh, you know, the bad and the new, the bad and the good and whatever. So the name clone, you spell it K-L-O-N-E. Where does that come from? Uh, kind of came from uh, the first characters I tried about 10 years ago. It was just before that I, would, uh, I was writing, just like tagging and piecing graffiti. And uh, I think around 2003, 4 there was this new thing that people were trying around the world. It's like changing. Uh, it, it came from a lot of graffiti writers that uh, changing their throw up into kind of into maybe like some character that will go and be recognizable and uh, I just I said like okay maybe I'll give it a try because if you can change it to, into an image then it's, it becomes a bit more communicative and then it's so I did this character that was uh, I was repeating it so it was a clone but I didn't want it to be like a clone like like just a dumb clone, so it's the K is the difference. It's like it's a different clone, and uh, I think over the past years it had, you know, it got so much more meaning, and uh, the name just stuck, like from this one character, and became this whole, I know, big concept about uh, our lives and how it's uh, how we're kind of cloning ourselves from the beginning, you know, the whole uh, same process, uh, uh, school, uh, education, uh, whatever, how we're supposed to live our lives, how we're set, so, so it's kind of cloning yourself every day. That's a great explanation. Uh, 
I'm curious, are there any other street artists that you find influential in the extent that you'd like to collaborate with them? Um, I don't know, there's a bunch of people that are also working on the street, like, I, you know, the, I, I don't like to define an artist also only as a street artist, because for me it's, I uh, see it's important that the artist will be able to work in whatever medium is working, so if it's on the street, okay, it's street art, but when it's, like, so people just know how to react to their environment, doesn't, ma no matter how they, where they work, and there's some artists that I would like to collaborate, some friends that I already do, and uh, it's either street artists or contemporary artists or painters or sculptors, it's just, you know, sometimes it just works. It's more, it's also like half of it, or like more than half of it is about the personality of the person, so it's not like, you know, lots of good artists are shitty people, so. That, and that's in any field as well. Yeah, of course. Is there one landmark in the world you would like to put one of your pieces on and which one would that be? I don't know, still didn't see it. Like, I don't, uh, I don't plan my pieces ahead so like it's really rare that I know, I don't know, I, I don't know when I'll see the place then I'll maybe I'll want to do something there and it's like I like for my art to react to to now, to what's happening now and not like to be saying like I in one year I want to paint there. Like if I will plan it ahead so so like so far away then I will get sick of it and I won't want to do it anymore. It's like for me when it's already something that I wanna do and it's planned completely then it's already done. I don't need to make it. So that's why I don't sketch for pieces or for it's like well, Claude, I think you are an amazing artist and you are the real deal. Thank you so much for having me here today in your studio and giving me the chance to speak to you and to share your story with the rest of the world. Yeah, sure. Welcome. Any day.